Welcome to The Fix List, a guide to improving your paintings by looking at other work in search of common visual problems. Today's problem is balance, and this is where you have one half of the image just kind of feels a little heavier than the other. Really, you just feel like you're leaning a little bit as the viewer, and your eyes are drifting off one side of the canvas. To see this problem in action, I've collected some art from the Control Paint community. Here's our first example. This is a character illustration, and I like to use this one because it's very literal. This character is physically a bit off balance. If I were to do a quick diagram here, you can see that he has very close ankles. They're physically close to each other, and so you know we could push him over more easily than if his feet were spread out a bit. And then just in terms of him compositionally, he's on the left side of the frame. He's looking left and he's also physically a little bit off balance. All those things add up to him kind of being a left heavy composition. Here is my paint over, and we can see that I didn't change it all that much, but what I did do was to center his head between his ankles. So you can see there's sort of a, a line of weight which is distributed across these wider feet. And so he looks physically more balanced. And then the composition itself is also a little more balanced because he's more centered. He's looking left, but there's a little space to the left. And his weapon is kind of offsetting that left heaviness. Here's before. Here's after. So if the first image dealt with character balance, this one deals with compositional balance. So here we have a very rigid scene. If we were to diagram it here, you can see that it's split right down the middle. All of the horizontals are right angles to this center line. It's like a grid. And what that means is that it feels kind of stiff. What I want to do is to break up these straight lines a bit. So here is my general idea. I want to make that center line a little more angled. I want to make the character ever so slightly tilted so that we have this sort of asymmetrical balance. So we still want to have it be a balanced image, as in the left and the right sides weigh the same amount, but I don't want it to be so perfectly symmetrical like it started here where it's just a little bit rigid. So you can still be balanced and asymmetrical. Here's the end result. So we can see it hasn't changed all that much. It's still a centered composition. But what I've done is I've taken that strong center line and tilted it a little bit. And then I've tilted the table the opposite direction. So there's this general rhythm and asymmetry, yet the entire image still has a balance to it. I don't feel like I'm leaning to the right or leaning to the left. I've just energized the balance with a little bit of asymmetry. So here's before, and here's after. Just a little bit more lively. Here we've left the idea of characters completely, and so what we're talking about is not literal balance, as in, is the character going to get tipped over? Here we have a composition that feels left heavy. Now, do you understand why this feels left heavy? Well, here's a diagram. So we can see that there's a big dark shadow here on the left, this left tank. That makes it have more presence in the image. It feels heavy because there's so much light everywhere else, it's sort of high contrast. There's this other tank, which is sort of the other leg of the triangle, and they're both pointing up the focal point, which is up here on the left. Let me hide this again so you can see it. This all leads to a very top left heavy image. It's anchored in this big tank that's kind of falling off the page, and nothing is happening in the upper right hand corner. My goal is to take the same general idea, but to shift it to the right. So here I have a focal point that's going to be slightly right of center to counterbalance the fact that there's just this big heavy anchor in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, this is the goal. And here is my paint over. Clearly it's rough, but what it did was change the entire balance of the image. So let's put that goal paint over on top again and see how that kind of works. Just slightly right of center is the focal point, and I have de-emphasized this left anchor because before there was just a big dark tank. Well, that dark shape was drawing too much attention. It was too high contrast. So I used a cloud here, sort of a dust cloud, to just lighten up the tank. What that's done then is it puts it on more equal footing in terms of visual impact as this other tank. Because if this cloud wasn't here, the left tank would still be so heavy that it would pull attention away from the right tank and from the focal point. 
but by shifting some things around and adding in a few areas of light value, I've gotten to this much more balanced triangle shape. So let's show the before and the after. Same idea, but this one has a much more balanced composition. Now this is a tough one because I needed to stay true to the design of this original planet. And that meant that I was going to have a hard time making opposing diagonals. Because what we've got here is a very flat horizon. And then we've got this lean. Everything's kind of starting lower left and moving upper right. What this does is it throws the entire balance way off to the right. I feel like I'm just going to kind of slide right out of the frame because there's no other arrow pointing me back in the opposite direction. There's also a lack of depth, although we'll talk more about that in other videos. But what I'm really looking for is cross balance. So if I have some sort of medium sized arrows all pointing up and right, I want something big pointing up and left. And the two kind of meet in the middle and end up with this asymmetrical balance. Right now, we don't have a lot of that. This is what I came up with. So clearly I did deviate more in this image than I did from the other paintovers, but let's take a look at what I've drawn. First off, we have the general direction of these spikes. Now I cheated a little bit before they were kind of all going off to the right. Here I made them more of a sweeping radial pattern. So they're pointing all the way to the right here and then get more and more vertical as they get to the other edge of the canvas, just so they don't all point off the edge of the canvas and you're lost forever. The next thing I did was to use the light itself as our opposing directional arrows. So if you look here, the big one is this ring. I just added a ring in there. It's essentially a light beam to just give me that counter arrow. So we have arrows pointing up and left, and here is our counter. In addition to that, I also wanted to add just these cast shadows. And I put them there intentionally. I could have really put the light anywhere I wanted, but what I decided to do was to shine the light in such a way that the shadows themselves create diagonals in a direction that is useful. So the diagonals in this case point up and left, which is counter to the form itself, the rocks pointing up and right. All told, they sort of have this cross that meets in the middle and is balanced. So once again, we go from before, which was very flat and leaned off in one direction, to after, which is a lot less flat and has more asymmetrical balance. And just to spread the paint around, I'm gonna finish off with one of my paintings. Now this is an older one, and you can see already this has the same problem. It is a diagonal in only one direction, and in the case of a boat, it's almost like it's driving straight out of the frame, because you can sort of envision it moving, and just the sort of mental image of it going out the corner makes this feel unbalanced. So what I need is an opposing arrow, something just to kind of bring that balance back the other direction. What I ended up with is this. So here, what have I done? I've just added buoys and the placement of the buoys was what I used to create that new arrow. So I have the original arrow that is the direction of the boat, but then I've created this implicit other opposing arrow if you just connect the dots between those buoys. So in this way, I can flip it left and right, and it feels balanced. The boat goes in one direction, and the buoys go in the other direction. It's not a big change. You can see it didn't really add all that much to the image, but it does give it balance. So whether we're talking about character balance or composition balance, this is a great area to fix your paintings. And I want to thank the brave audience members that sent in their art to help with this project. It's not easy to get your work critiqued, so thanks for the help. See you in the next video.